All right, so for lesson three in science today, we actually skip lesson two because it's like this little project thing. And we're going to skip it for now. But we're going to start on page 17. And it says, what are inquiry skills? So raise your hand if you've heard the word inquiry. It's kind of a different word. Okay, that's okay. So inquiry means like asking questions. So, it says, down here, it says, what can you infer this boy is doing? Infer means guess. So, what do you think this boy is doing? What is he doing? Isabel, what do you think? He's picking up what do you say? Okay, maybe he's picking up mud. Good. Where is he? Where do you think he is? Adam? Okay. Maybe so. That could be. Amelia? Okay, good. Miles? Rock. Yeah, looks like he is on a rock. Like maybe he's looking at the rock. Tommy, what do you think? Okay, climbing. Good. Logan? Okay, good. Claire, what do you think? Yeah, it looks like it could be maybe went like over this way at the end of the cliff or at the end of that rock. It could be like a cliff or something that could be. Okay, but we are going to say those are all good things and we don't know because we are just looking at the picture. But we're going to say that he is just playing outside. So he's playing outside. So that's what we can tell by looking at this picture. We can tell he's playing outside because there's the sky, there's plants, there's rocks, there's trees. So we're going to write playing. You're going to write this on this line also. Outside. Yes, Ava. Okay, that could be. Maybe he is measuring the rock. That's a good guess. That could, that's very true. Okay. So right now we're just going to look at, we can tell that he is playing outside. So you're going to write playing outside on the line, please. Yes, one. This one is playing. This is outside. O U T S I D E. Outside. Okay, playing outside. That's okay. Then write it underneath. You can't. Tell me you're on the wrong page, friend. We're on page 17. We're not on that page yet. All right, then it also says to preview this lesson, which we will try and do later, and it says to write the vocabulary term here. Well, I'm going to just write it here for you so you guys can copy it, but the vocabulary term set is inquiry skills, which is actually the same word that's up here. So we're going to write I N Q U I R Y skills is S A I L L S. So you're going to write that also on that line. That just means being able to ask questions about things. Okay, inquiry skills. It's a Q, I N Q, inquiry skills. It does. Yep, the tail goes the opposite way. Yep, you're writing it on the same line. You need to write this. So you should have these two things you should be writing. Okay, playing outside and inquiry skills.
We're going to go on to the next page. So I'm going to turn. We're going to go to page 18 and 19. And on page 18. Okay, well, you'll have to look at it. On, it's right at the top of your book. That's why I need you to stay with me, okay? At the top of your book, it says skills to help you learn. It says observe and compare. It says how can you be like a scientist? You can use inquiry skills. Inquiry skills help you find out information. They help you learn about your world. So, down here we have some of these kids that are like this boy right here is comparing these two leaves. This girl, what is she using to observe these this leaf? What is she using? We talked about those yesterday, didn't we? Mason. A magnifying glass or a hand lens. Very good. Then on page 19, it says predict and measure. This girl says, I predict that it is going to rain today. Why do you think that she would make that prediction? Look at the sky in this picture. Owen. Yeah, there's like some gray clouds moving in. So she's predicting that it might rain today. Good. Then we have these kiddos right here are measuring this rock. What are they using to measure this rock? Collins. Good. A measuring tape or tape measure. Very good. Good job. So we have compare, observe, that are on page 18. We have measure and predict. So this says at the bottom of this box is to circle the inquiry skill that helps you find the size of an object. How else do you find the size of an object? It's going to be on this page. Is it going to be predict or measure? If you're looking for the size of an object, are you going to predict or measure? Jordan? Measure, right. Just like he is using this tape measure. He's going to um, help find the size of that rock. So you're going to circle the word measure. Okay. All right, we're going to move on now to page 20. So at the top of page 20, it says classify and communicate. And it has a bird paradise, and it shows this girl classifying these birds. And then down here it says to complete the graph, how many brown birds are, they, are there? So they made a chart of how many blue birds there are. How many blue birds are there in this graph? Christian. Two, because you can see this bar graph that goes up to two. How many red birds are there? Oliver? One. Now we're going to count up here in these pictures. How many brown birds are there? How many brown birds? Logan? Three. Good. So you're going to draw a little, almost like a rectangular shape going to go all the way up to the number three. So here's number three. See how if I make this line go all the way? Yep, that's your pencil. That's the color okay. And then you're going to fill in this bar, just like this. Okay. Right? Yeah, you're just filling in three. You do not want your bar to go all the way to the top because that would be saying that there are four brown birds and there are only one, two, three. Okay, so your line, your coloring should stop where this three meets. This one is on this line. Okay? So, this girl just classified all these birds. She sorted, classify means to kind of put into groups. So she has blue birds, a red bird, and brown. She put them into groups by color. And communicate means that she just made this graph to kind of share with people. So now she could take it to her friends and say, look, these are the number of birds I found and the colors that I found. Okay? All right, so let's look at page 21. On page 21, we're talking about hypothesize and plan an investigation. So this 
person says a big log rolls farther than a small log because it is heavier. She says, I will roll both logs down the hill to test the hypothesis. So she's, they're like planning an investigation. This girl's what's going to plan the investigation and do it. He's making a guess. So this says, which child made a hypothesis? Draw a line under the hypothesis. So the hypothesis is that this boy says a big log rolls down, rolls further than a small log because it is heavier. You're going to underline that because that's his guess. The hypothesis is the same thing as a guess. Yeah, just right here. That's very easy to do. Right. Yeah, see, so you just made a hypothesis. That means you took a guess at what you think would happen. Okay? This girl is going to do the investigation, so she's going to actually roll both logs down the hill to see if, if he is right or not. Okay, good. Awesome, then. Very cool. So, yeah, so you can, that's what you do if you want to. To do an experiment, sometimes you have to take a guess about what you think is going to happen, and then when you test it, that's called planning and doing an investigation. Okay? Okay, that could be too. Good, that could be. All right. We're going to go on to the next page. Good, I like all your hypotheses, though. On page 22, there's two. There's a few other steps when it comes to using our inquiry skills. And we have infer and draw conclusions. Infer means kind of what you think or what you guess is going to happen or guess about something. So like this boy is, thinks that the light container is empty, which would make sense if a container is light and one is heavy then you're going to probably say, yeah, this container must be empty if it's so light, and this container must be full. Empty containers are lighter than full containers. So that's what he's testing. So see how he's dumping out this liquid that's in that container? Then he's able to tell that empty containers are lighter than full containers. So that's called drawing a conclusion. So we're going to underline the conclusion the boy drew. Well, he drew the conclusion that empty containers are lighter than full containers. You can underline that. Okay. Nope, not right now. So I'm going to go on to the next page, page 23. It says, make a model and sequence. So it says, a butterfly garden, things may happen in order. So, just like this life cycle or the life set stages of a butterfly. So it says, write one, decide what happens first, two, decide what happens second, three, decide what happens third, and four, decide what happens last. So, here are the different stages of the butterfly. So we have the leaf that has the little egg on it. Then we have the butterfly, we have the cocoon or the chrysalis, and the caterpillar. What is the first thing that happens in the life cycle of a butterfly, Caitlin? Yeah, the butterfly lays the egg. So you're going to put a one on the little line with the leaf and the eggs on it. That's the first thing. What happens next? What's the second thing that happens, Amelia? Then it turns in and grows into a caterpillar. So we're going to put it two. What's the third thing that happens, Oliver? They go into the chrysalis. And what's the last thing that happens? Alana. It becomes a butterfly. Very good. You see? They're already in order. That's kind of funny. All right. So we're going to turn to the next page. And this is the last page that we have to do for science today. 